Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you what's on my lambing list. Uh, a lambing list is a list of nail polishes that you don't own for whatever reason. Now in my case it's because A. I wasn't collecting nail polish when they were available. B. I just didn't pick them up when they were available and now I kick myself because I didn't pick them up. Uh, or B. They are still available and but they're for ridiculous prices on eBay or Amazon. So I'll get into my list. I have, I think, 10 polishes on my lambing list, and I'm going to pop up swatches of them right here. Um, I will credit the original the original person who took the picture. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. If I did use your picture and you would like me to take it down, please let me know, but I will credit everybody's picture that I use. The first one I'm going to mention is uh, Essie's Shine of the Times, which is a flaky nail polish. Uh, came out way before I was collecting polish, unfortunately, and now it's just ridiculously priced online. And I, I can't, I'm not going to shell out the kind of money that people are asking for this nail polish. If it magically comes into my collection the way that uh, Teenage Dream came into my collection, then I would pick it up. But for the pricing that's on some of these websites, not going to happen. Not going to happen. The next one on my list came up um, very recently again because of what um, Essie did and that's the original Starry Starry Night. The Starry Starry Night that I have in my collection is from the Retro Revival collection which is not the same unfortunately as the original Starry Night. Um, I'm going to put a picture of both the new Starry Night and the original Starry Night side by side so you can see the difference. Now the formula that I got on my Retro Revival polish uh, was absolute garbage. It was thick. It was goopy. It was it was it was bad. It was really really bad. Uh, I think that there was a bad batch because some people said theirs was great and other people said theirs was horrible. So maybe there was two batches or a good batch and a bad batch. But I got the bad batch unfortunately. So I haven't worn it since the first time that I put it on, hoping to have Starry Night on my nails and yeah not Starry Night, unfortunately. So that's my next one, the original Starry Night by Essie. The next one is probably going to, out of the, the Essies that I've mentioned, is probably going to be the easiest one for me to find. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for it because I really do want it. It's Penny Talk by Essie. It's a, it's a, it look, it's a penny color uh, metallic nail polish. It came out in the Metallics collection, I think three years ago. I don't know, uh, but I really, really would really like to get my hands on that nail polish. I don't have a copper, coppery colored nail polish in my collection, unless you count KB Shimmer's Run as the coppers, but that's a holographic. So I would really like to get my hands on Penny Talk. The next four polishes that I'm going to talk about are OPIs. I started collecting nail polish back in 2014, so all the polishes on my list came out way before that. So they they are available on eBay. I've seen I think all of them on eBay for ridiculous prices. So that's why they haven't made their way to my collection yet. In fact, the only lemming that I've crossed off my lemming list from OPI was Teenage Dream, and I found that by accident in a clearance bin at a salon. So first one on my list from OPI is absolutely Alice. Now this is it's one of those polishes that everybody wants that that who, does, who doesn't have it. Um, it's a it was a glitter that came out in the first Alice in Wonderland collection. Um, it's it's a blue glitter. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, I don't like glitter very much, but I I really do want this polish because of how stunning it looks from pictures. I really hope that if I do get it and I put it on my nails, I'm not disappointed because you know you you know when you buy a polish because you've had your eye on it forever and you think oh my goodness I want that so bad. And then you buy it, put it on your nails, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> this is not what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I don't want to have that reaction with any of these polishes that are on my list because I would be so disappointed that if they, they've been on my list for so long and then they turn out to be meh. The next OPI is Catch Me In Your Net. Now this came out way, 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 way before I was collecting nail polish. It's another blue. Surprise, surprise. You know how much I love my blues. Um, it's, it's a, it's a blue gold, like flash in it, kind of. Absolutely gorgeous pictures from what I can see. I've also heard that Zoya's Charla is a dupe for this. I don't know that for sure. 
Uh, I don't have Charla either, so I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is Catch Me In My Net. Catch Me In Your Net from OPI. The next one from OPI is uh, My Private Jet. The original My Private Jet with the holographic in it. Not the one that you can get now that has no holographic in it. The original My, uh, My Private Jet by OPI was a, a brownie holographic, absolutely stunning, but they changed the formula and now it doesn't have the holographic property, properties in it, so it's not the same. Again, the same sort of thing was what they did with Starry Starry Night, changed it up and now it's completely different. So the original My Private Jet is on my loving list. The last one from OPI is Mermaid's Tear from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I have almost all of that collection um, and I know I can get my hands easily on the two, the other two that I don't have in that collection because I, I've seen them and I know I can get my hands on them. But wherever I look, I cannot find Mermaid's Tear. It's, it's just not there. Again, it's available on Amazon for a ridiculous price, uh, $20, $30. That's on the American on the American uh, Amazon website. If you look at the Canadian Amazon website, so if you go to Amazon.ca instead of .com and you put in Mermaid's Tear, I've seen it for $136. $136 for a bottle of nail polish. Really? $136 for a bottle of nail polish. I'm not paying that. It's, it's not happening. <laughs> Definitely not. So if I do buy it from from Amazon, it will probably be from the American side, not the Canadian side, and I'll have to work. I'll have to hope there's no duty on it. So I only have one uh, China glaze on my list, and that is Zombie Zest. I've seen Miss Holly Berry's talk about this nail polish so many times, and I really, really want it just because of what she says about it. It's an ugly pretty color that I really really would like. I'm hoping that if I do get down to IMATS this year I might be able to get a bottle there. Fingers crossed. Hoping. I really would like to get down to IMATS this year. Uh, it really depends on other things that are happening because we are going to Florida next year. We're taking the kids to Disney. So we are saving all of our money for that trip. So I don't know if I might skip IMATS this year and go next year, but I would really like to go. The last two that I have on my list are um, our indies that were recently discontinued and I really wish I had jumped on them when I had the chance, but I didn't and I now kick myself for it. Uh, they're both from Native War Paints. They're both with the zombie theme that was zombie zest. The first one is Rotten Zombie Flesh, which is a murky, olivey green color. It's it's so pretty. It's another one of those ugly pretty colors, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I would really like to wear that. Really, really would like to wear that. The last polish on my lemming list is Extra Crispy Walkers by Native War Paints. It was also from that same collection as Rotten Zombie Flesh that I should have picked up before they were discontinued, and now I kick myself that I don't have them. <laughs> I'm um, hoping maybe one day I can pick them up in a D-stash sale, but I haven't had much luck so far. Maybe one day they'll find my way to find their way to me, but right as of right now I don't have them. So yeah, that is everything that is on my lambing list. Probably there are more that I'm just not thinking of, but those are the ones that I can think of right now. If you guys have a lambing list video, please leave a link down below or just leave me a comment and tell me what polishes are on your lambing list, because you know they might inspire me to add them to mine, <laughs> uh, as if I don't have enough nail polish already. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> are readily available for purchase. It's available on, on, on it. Hello, princess. <laughs> because I forgot to light it. Wow. I did. You got your dress on inside out. You silly sausage, you got your dress on inside out. And my lip gloss still on. Your lip gloss is still on. Yeah, here, you want to come up and say hello? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs>
showing off your tonsils to everybody. Stop. Okay, mommy's busy. Can you go back downstairs now? Uh, can you paint my nails today? I will paint them later if you let me finish what I'm doing. Uh, the next one on my list is Catch Me In Your Net. Now apparently, um, Orly's Charla, I think it is, is a dupe for this. I don't know that for sure. It could be, I don't know. Uh, so I may have to pick up, did I say, did I say Orly? Uh, the first one is, <clears throat> the first one is Rotten Zombie, Rotten Zombie? 